Hey guys, welcome back to Pixel Productions, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Coco from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Crossing is my new favorite video game, and Coco is totally one of my favorite characters. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna start off by drawing Coco's eyes. And this can come out a bit sketchy, and that's good because then you can erase it if you don't like how it comes out. And then I'm going to draw her mouth, which is the shape of an oval. So now I'm going to start working on her head. And you can make it a bit ovalish or a bit more circle, kind of shaped. Mine came out a bit more oval, but um, either way looks pretty good. So I'm drawing her ears now, and you can make them as tall as you want, but I went for a bit of a average bunny ear length. Now I'm going to draw her outfit. So you're just going to do a little half circle, and then you're going to do two lines coming out from that. And then I'm going to draw two straps going down for her dress. I'm going to do a v-neck for her dress also. going to bring down her dress and here I have to decide what length I want my t-shirt to be and so I'm just going to make her sleeves a little bit shorter because her arms will be behind her back for this drawing decided that actually I want her arms to be sticking out because it looks more like the Animal Crossing villager if you have them out. And so here I am having a bit of trouble um, deciding how long each arm should be. Um, that part was a bit challenging. I'm going to start sketching out her legs and this Animal Crossing villager does not wear shoes so I am just deciding how I want her toes to be. I liked how the second one came out, so I'm just fixing up um, both legs to make them look the same. And I'm going to erase that little point because that was an idea, but I think I like the other one better. Right now, I'm going to use Sharpie to go over her eyes and mouth. This will make it look more professional and it won't have such a sketchy look. Now I'm going to move on to her ears and her head. And I messed up a little bit here, but experimenting is the whole point of art, so you can try out different styles. And I think that even though I messed up, I was still pretty happy with how the drawing came out. started with tracing the rest of her body in Sharpie. And so I'm just going to be doing um, all of this with the thin Sharpie because um, I think it comes out a little better. And also, when you use a thin Sharpie, here's a tip. If you use a thicker one, then everything's gonna be thick and everything's going to have like thick lines. But if you use a thin Sharpie, you can determine how thick you want it to be. So I'm just going to use a thin Sharpie for now. So right now I'm tracing her legs and then I'm going to go ahead and start erasing so that way there isn't any pencil lines. shade in her eyes and mouth and I'm gonna do this with a thick sharpie.
dress with this kind of swamp colored green. pencil and I'm lightly shading in her fur. lightly shading in her ears. Now I was trying to use a brown color pencil to do her spots, but it wasn't showing up that well. So I just decided that I would use a thin sharpie and I'd do a few dots on each limb. And that is the end of the drawing. So now I'm just going to write her name at the bottom. And I'm just going to trace that with Sharpie. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. See you later!